So, I'm perusing through one of the largest turkey suppliers in the UK's website, as you do, and I noticed a very interesting line. It says, we are open about what we do, engaging in campaigns like Farm24 to raise consumer awareness and help people better understand farming and our responsibilities. We have had media teams on farm for interviews and regularly welcome a range of auditors who ensure we are meeting the higher standards expected of us. This got me thinking, if they're open to auditors, Maybe they wouldn't mind if I paid one of their farms a visit to check things out. So I got ready and trekked down to this massive location near Thirsk, waited until everyone had left the farm, scrubbed my boots for biosecurity, and waltzed on inside. Where's the entry door? There. Avara Foods. This is a coal list, I think. All right, so we're in this room here and there is blood. There are droplets of blood all over the floor here. I suspect it's much like other turkey farms where they cull them inside and they drag their bodies in here and they clear the bodies. Already I can hear the turkeys in there. We're about to make our way through these sheds and document what we see. We searched through four sheds over the course of two nights and this is what we found. Whoa. These birds are massive. It's looking like they're ready to go to slaughter. It's got to be a thousand in here. Over a thousand. The first thing you notice as you walk in is the sheer scale and overcrowding. I could barely walk through these animals. Imagine how they feel living in this. They're so close that you can barely walk past them. You have to like gently move them out of the way. This is like sending them insane. It's just crazy, man, how overcrowded it is in here. The next thing you notice is the oh smell. God. It hits you in the face. Pungent. It stinks in here, dude. And then you start to see it. Feces everywhere, covering the birds. Look how dirty, man. All over their feathers and their heads. Pretty feces all over her neck, diarrhea. The floor caked with feces. Look how deep they're going in the feces here. Look at that. Already a bleak reality for these beautiful, sentient, intelligent beings. They're very curious and inquisitive. <laughs> I turned around and noticed okay. some following me. Are you following me? Look at these all following me in the line. All of them following me. This is definitely a boy. See his snoot. And this is a girl. They're beautiful animals. So sad they put sentient beings inside these meat machine bodies. They usually have these beautiful feathered tails that they, they, the boys present, look. Look what they've done to these birds, like. He can't even express his natural behaviors. He doesn't even have the body he's supposed to have. I sent out a call and they sent out a call back. <laughs> Look at this little baby one here. Oh dear. As much as I'd love to hang out with these turkeys all night, I had a job to do. So next was to scour through and investigate individual birds for welfare issues. The first place to look is in the corners, where injured or exhausted birds tend to hide from the others. The wings aren't even moving, are they? Oh my god. It looks like it's her, her legs. Come on. She's collapsed. She can't even get up if I help her, look. Usually a turkey will just walk away from you, but I don't think she can. If these birds are in here for profit only, and if this bird can't make a profit, then they go in the bin. And then we found another in the other corner. She looks pretty rough, she's scared. She just looks broken and suffering. All right, so my first impression so far is that this is standard. It's a stock standard turkey farm. I mean, it's just a needless abomination. That's what it is. As we continued our investigation, we found birds experiencing multiple issues due to their overgrown bodies. See, she's limping. Can you move? She can't walk. Dozens of birds were limping, unable to support their weight. Trapped inside suffering bodies. She barely walk, dude. Some birds had what looked like dislocated hips. Completely dislocated legs. This one's legs are separated. Others had collapsed under their heavy frames. She's beginning to get pecked on the head here. She can't get up. Okay, that's why she's getting pecked. See how every other bird has walked away from me, except for this one. Her legs at the joint cannot support her body weight, and therefore she's being pecked. 
shaking. She would prefer to get away from me, obviously, for safety, but she can't. And this is how they start getting pecked by the other birds and end up suffering to death horribly. You see, due to selective breeding, turkeys are now twice the size as they were in the 1960s. Before we continue, and trust me, you want to see what we uncover next. But first, who's responsible for this? Who is Avara Foods? Avara is a joint project of Facenda Foods and multinational giant Cargill. They're known to supply poultry to the largest supermarket chains in the UK, including Sainsbury's, Tesco and Asda. And I'm sure, as per their website, and with them being Red Tractor Assured, everything else during our visit should be up to the highest standards you can expect. And what we've seen so far isn't as bad as it gets, right? Well, no, the worst is yet to come. Too many birds to count had what looked like injured or infected snoods. One here's got something going on on her nose. We saw pecking injuries on dozens of birds. So it happens when you stick thousands of birds in a barn like this. On the back of their necks and on their heads. See that scab on the back of their head? Yeah, that's awful. Scab on her back there, under or on top of their wings. Their tail feathers had been pecked and scabbed up. And sometimes pecked completely off. This one doesn't have an eye. Some unfortunate turkeys had even had their eyes pecked out. But why do turkeys do this to each other? Look how crowded they are in here. Well, due to severe overcrowding, these birds are unable to establish a stable pecking order, so chaos ensues. Our hidden cameras documented birds being bullied and pecked by the others, and other birds fighting. This is how the pecking injuries start. Humans have caused this condition. In the right conditions, turkeys are very affectionate and can also be very protective of each other. This turkey protecting her. Look, she's injured. This turkey's protecting her, dude. Look, they're protecting her. The sheer amount of welfare issues we found were too common to show them all. We found birds with painful prolapses. What even? I've never seen that before. I've never seen anything like that. What the hell is going on in here? Birds with large abscess-like hernias on their chest. Look at the size of that. That's shocking. Two of them right here. Bloodied wings. Blood all under there. And dead bodies scattered throughout the shed. There was suffering everywhere. But does what the industry portray to the public match what we've seen so far? Well, other than supermarkets constantly putting out images of happy turkeys and Red Tractor, who certifies this farm, claiming their food is farmed with care, on the Avara website itself, it says, we are committed to protecting the health and well-beings of the animals in our care. We firmly believe that the single most important factor in providing high standards of welfare is people. That's why we employ and work with professional, experienced farm teams and provide them with the training and support they need to look after their birds. But our hidden camera footage from this Avara farm tells a different story. <laughs> These birds not only have to suffer horribly on the farm, but they're clearly being mistreated by the farmers themselves. Oh no. Oh no. Oh good lord. <gasps> oh god. Oh my god. Well, that's a boy. His head's going all rotten. Oh my god. I wonder what this condition is. And look at this environmental enrichment. Look at this poor boy here, and another dead bird right here. And they're giving them this, and they somehow think this makes this justified. Look at this. If you look under his wing, his back's all rotten out. Look at that. See his wings dropped here on the right. He's in very bad nick. Look at his eyes. Look at the sadness in his eyes. I honestly think that's like the saddest bird I've ever seen. This bird is in pure misery, distress and suffering and someone is going to sit around with their family, right, happy and cheery, and not even know that Avara has deceived them into participating in animal cruelty. His entire head is rotting. He's about to die, this poor bird. Look what Avara does to birds in your name. Doesn't that anger you? Absolutely sickening. Shame on Avara. 
shame on the meat industry, shame on the supermarkets. And if you knowingly pay for this, then you should check inside your heart for compassion because this is disgusting. Look at this, English turkeys, disgusting Christmas cruelty. Oh God, it looks like there's a turkey over here that's um, gone down, been pecked, I don't know. We're just gonna go investigate over here. Come on, another one. Oh my God. Another one. Oh my God. The entire body is rotting. Yeah. She's been pecked as well. Oh my God. So this is the same shed. What you have to imagine is that we've come in here before they've cleared them. They're culling what, 20, 30 a week like this? this is, we've been in here a snapshot in time. This is one night, one night out of 365 nights in a year, out of how many years? And how many farms across the UK? Imagine worldwide. So what treatment can these birds expect when the farmer finds them sick or injured? What do our hidden cameras show? According to the Humane Slaughter Association, a captive bolt should result in immediate loss of consciousness and death. But here we see a turkey still struggling for over three minutes. The other birds gather round to investigate. The farmers appear to bolt gun the turkeys where they see them and drag them while they're still moving into a wheelbarrow. This turkey here doesn't appear to be stunned correctly and continues to struggle for over two and a half minutes. Farmers notice the birds still moving and they appear to make jokes, although it's hard to make out what they're saying. One of them can't help but laugh. Um, I'm just being, I'm, I feel, I feel really bad for this bird. I feel, also feel very angry at the sick, disgusting companies that do this to these birds. Um, so I've got a mixture of disgust, anger, but lack of surprise really, eh? Like the public need to learn that activists are not against them. We're just trying to tell you something. You have to listen to us. You have to listen to us. They are lying to you, okay? We don't have to eat these birds. We don't have to. We don't have to do this to them. This is completely needless. Look at this bird suffering rotten head pe pecked on the floor in a dark shed lying in feces. Look at this. For what? A turkey sandwich? We don't have to do this. This doesn't have to happen. Go into your local supermarket, Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco, and go look at the labeling and tell me if this matches their advertising. Here's another one. Oh. Oh my God, they've been packed. It's okay, it's okay. <gasps> She's got diarrhea. Really bad. They're getting some rotten shit on the back like, of their neck. They're two separate I'm birds. Have to look that up. That is... They're two separate birds. Right next to each other, just. These birds are f messed up, man. Oh, God. Oh, f. The 
this is a horror show. This bird here probably was, looked something like those other birds back there before they died. No one to help them. It's hard to really picture what it's like suffering to death like that, especially if you don't un understand. It's an abomination. That bird has died with no one around to help him, no one who truly cares. And this is all done to satisfy a trivial taste or tradition at Christmas time. But shockingly, we still hadn't seen the worst of it yet. I can't even tell what gender this turkey is because their face and neck and throat's all swollen. They have some kind of infection coming out of their beak, some pus, their ears are bleeding, their head is all rotten. They've gone down and they're slowly dying on the floor here in shit. There's shit right next to her beak here. That's why I keep repeating it every single day because this is what happens. They die in a cold, dark factory farm shed in feces in suffering and pain they're so hot they're slowly breathing suffering and dying this is sick this company god. this company oh my god they, they were not are they trying to wake up they're scared probably oh my god no vet care, no compassion. things you're gonna ever see. The sad and disturbing and despicable thing about that, this is all too common. What you're about to see is footage from our hidden cameras of these exact birds being rounded up into crates ready for slaughter. But not before the catchers lay in a few kicks. The workers proceed to throw these fragile birds into the crates with no mercy. Turkeys huddle together, terrified of what comes next. In order to be efficient at their job, the workers also have to disregard the welfare of the turkeys. Many birds are grabbed by the neck and thrown in with the others. The birds are crushed in order to close the small drawers. Others try to escape. It was hard to choose which stories to tell because the entire time our cameras were running, it was all as brutal as the rest. Injured birds left over are brutally cold. Here a worker stomps on one's neck before shooting them in the head. The bird is still moving for around a minute. 
consistent with other cars we've seen. We're on our way out. This bird is still barely breathing. The saddest part about this is looking around and having to leave them all here like this. Like if you took this bird out to the cold, they would die immediately. They're gonna die. It's hard because you kind of feel guilty when you haven't even done it. We're here to document, we're here to expose, we're here to tell the public not to support this. And that's it, stop supporting it. Before we packed up and left the farm, there was one last thing to do. To find out for certain whether what we saw inside was isolated or not. There was one way to find out for sure. So we're at the front of this same Avara farm. Come over here. This one here is pecking injuries on their back. As you can see, in the same condition. This one here has their eye pecked out. This one here has pecking injuries on their back. See? Pecking injuries on their back. The same kind of rotting. So as you can see, these birds have the same kind of injuries as the birds that were in that shed. And there's five of these bins. What you saw in there was not isolated. There's a whole bin full of them. Do you understand? They're gonna to try to say, well, yeah, that, that just happens. No, it's constant, happens every single day, happens in every single one of their sheds. Don't listen to their lies and their gaslighting. Those birds there, they don't look as appetizing as the birds that are on your table, do they? When you receive the bird from the supermarket, it's been sanitized, plucked, slaughtered, cleaned. The bird that you eat are those birds from in there. And this is the suffering that is caused from supporting these scumbags. Don't give them your money. Don't let them take away your compassion. Don't let them make money off of evil. The power is in your hands. If we all boycott our support, if we all become vegan, these places no longer exist. I can't, I can't believe places like this even exist on this planet right now. And we talk about justice and fairness and freedom and all of these things, but it's all lip service if you speak about justice with the same mouth that you consume injustice. Sad despicable and uh, I know I'll be having a vegan Christmas.